What up folks, welcome back to UltraZilla Toys, and today I have a review of the Marvel Studios, the first 10 years, Iron Man 3, Pepper Potts, the Mandarin, and Iron Man Mark 22 Hot Rod Armor. Alright gang, the latest batches of uh, Marvel Studios Marvel Legends are upon us with uh, this Amazon exclusive set of Iron Man 3. Um, there's also the Tony Stark and Mark 1 armor, which is a Walmart exclusive, which, spoilers, is on its way here and should be up later today. Should be up? Should be here later today, um, which is pretty cool. Check out my uh, Instagram and Facebook. I will be dropping a really like quick unboxing of that just opening up the package for you guys give you a first look um i got a like another thing coming in uh later this week uh not related to these guys so i think i'm gonna just keep going with uh those unboxings elsewhere for now because i really want to focus on the reviews this week um, and try to get ahead if I, if I can. Um, you know, I already lost a day yesterday, so it is what it is. But anywho, that's a little bit of a side channel note. Let's see what we got here. And we're gonna start out with Pepper Potts. And you know, as you can see, I have on the uh, armor here which is a beautiful piece. So we'll start right there on a really good note. Got some like tech up here, which is cool, right in up her arm. Um, the paint is beautiful, a really nice metallic uh, red. Got a nice metallic gold here. It just looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, really, really nice. You got a, one of these things. I think it's this one. It could be this one I totally forgot already um, but whatever it is <laughs> it goes in there it's one of these which I cannot stand I must have a million of these things but anywho um, we're gonna leave the head for last um, what I want to focus on is everything else first feet are very plain um, but they look okay if not a, a little chunky I don't know, like weird, like, you see what I'm saying? Like blown up a little bit, like balloons. It's very odd, not like b super big, but there's something about the tops of these that look a little odd. I didn't notice that until just now. Um, I don't think it's super noticeable when she's down, but like when you look at it I'm really up close, I don't know. She's just wearing uh, tights here and they look okay. Um, except for the very tops there are not fully painted. Very oddly uh, done. There's uh, some really bad paint imperfections here, uh, including the really bad seam lines going down the side. Like, uh, that should have been covered a little bit more on both sides. It's pretty bad, guys. Um, her sports bra thingy here is a little fuzzy also the way it's done back to front so it's not clean at all arm is pretty plain nothing really going on there um, I mean body shape overall is pretty good I think it's a body we've seen before if not like you know new sculpted parts to it but I'm not 100% sure uh, obviously she comes with her regular arm as well. I mean, I don't know if it's that obvious. There's that. Easy to peg in and out. I mean, I, I like it better with this, so. But there you go. If you want to see that. And now the head sculpt, which is, is interesting. Um, because I think the digital tech is there but I feel like they put like too much makeup on her and it's making her cheekbones look way more defined than they, than they need to be. It's just too much going on there. If you look from certain angles, 
That is Gwyneth Paltrow, no doubt. That's not it either. Straight ahead, not so much. The eyes are painted fine. The lips are painted fine. Um, the way they did her eyebrows, though, makes it almost seem like she has a unibrow because they, uh, her bangs come down right in the middle there and it creates a little shadow. <laughs> you see that? But yeah. So it's it's a mixed bag there. Um, the hair looks really good, though. I really like it. You know, a little mess up there. But nice uh, wash in it, so pretty good. And the sculpt, that I think, is, is pretty proper. So not bad. Articulation, head is on a hinge swivel joint. You, you are a bit hindered, but if you move the hair, which is soft plastic, you're fine. You got a ab joint here, moves well. Can't really go far forward, but she can go back. Nothing in the waist. Here you have this joint with a hinge, so swivel around. This one does it a little better. You got a elbow rotation and a single joint hinge. Hinge swivel at the wrist. She could do splits about that much. Kicks that much. Goes back nada. So hip, uh, thigh, double joint to knee. Hinge with the rocker at the foot. So, you know, mixed bag on Pepper. Um, but definitely looks awesome with this uh, armor here. So I think it's it adds to her. Uh, and it makes her a figure that I like despite the paint problems. Is what it is. Next, we got the Mandarin. And we'll do articulation and get that away first. Because it's a little hindered. Hindered by this beard. You got a hinge swivel there though. Uh, nothing at the waist, but you do have, I mean, nothing at the chest, but you do have a waist joint, swivel there actually, hinge, swivel at the shoulder, swivel at the elbow, single joint here as well. The wrists are very much um, hindered in there. There's probably a hinge in there, but I can't really do much with it. Legs go that far, that far, and that far. And you got a swivel at the thigh, of course. Double jointed knee. Oh, I can't really do much with it. I feel like I've seen these pants before. Um, maybe Punisher, maybe, uh, you know, Netflix Punisher. Um, maybe some other character, but definitely seen these before. Is there a boot cut? No. You get the swivel hinge at the foot. Now, the boots do look good, gray. You got camouflage pants, but I have a ginormous, like broken gap here. Um, it's, this is almost like something I wanna send this back for um, because that is really ugly. Like they cut it very badly. Anybody that has gotten this set, please let me know if you have this because that is insane. I feel like, I hope no one else has that. That's pretty bad. Um, this waist uh, band belt, I don't know what the proper term for this is. Please forgive me. Um, looks really good though. I really like it. Sculpted well, painted well, so that's good. Top part kind of looks Jedi-ish, <laughs> but like in green, got this vest here. Um, it's not really supposed to be a vest because this is like a big like cloak thing, robe. Um, but it looks okay. Not completely painted in there, but that's fine. The coat itself is very nice. You got nice texture throughout. A really nice glossy like emerald city green. Beautiful. I really like that. The gold trims here. Going up on these buttons looks great. Going up into the gold up here. You do have a little bit of this green showing through up here. Just a little bit of a bummer. 
And then on the back, you do have a little bit of gold there, but the gold up here looks nice. The hood looks nice. This part looks nice. It just really looks cool. Um, his cuffs look great. There's some nice design work there. Really great. The hands with all the rings look cool. You know, like the idea behind this guy or not. This is a really cool representation. I won't give away if you've never seen Iron Man 3. I won't give anything away here. But yeah, um, I liked it. I really liked Iron Man 3. I did. Um, surprised. But yeah, it was cool. Um, now, this might be the best digital face printing that Hasbro has done yet. That looks exactly like him. Wow. I am really blown away by how good this sculpt is and this paint is. The eyes look perfect, the eyebrows, the shape of that nose. Man, that is super good. Um, beard looks amazing. Nice wash there. Really great sculpt. Got more of that going on up here and his hair. And then, you know, back here in his little ponytail thingy, top knot, whatever this is called. It looks cool. It looks really well done. So very nice. This guy has no accessories. Um, and neither does Iron Man, which is interesting. Um, just Pepper. She's the star, even though she's the weakest of the three. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's still a nice pepper, you know, give her something to do here, you know, with the arm and it's, it's, it's still good. I'm still glad to have this particular version of Pepper Potts. That's a really nice Mandarin. Um, you know, uh, he's got some, some issues that thigh especially is horrendous, but otherwise, yeah, that's, that's, that's about as good as we're gonna get in this scale for, for this guy. I'm probably the only figure of all of, got of that guy. Now, hot rod armor. Um, I, I'm, I'll i tell you right now, I don't know uh, if this is just a repaint of another armor that we've gotten in the line. I, I, I can't recall it. I don't think it's one that I have personally. Um, so I'm just gonna stop saying it and stop talking about it and just appreciate what we have, which is one of my favorite Iron Man that I've ever purchased. It's just really awesome. This hot rod paint job is so incredible, feels so good that, and done like really, like this is probably the most paint I think uh, Hasbro has used. There's so much paint on here that it feels like die cast. Like his legs feel die cast. And I know it's not. Um, but it feels that way. It's cold. And it's very interesting. And as you can see, it's just super, super shiny, metallic, glossy, beautiful. Um, like her arm. This is very, I think it might be the same type of paint. Um, looks incredible. I love how the flames look. Going up, they gradiate nicely. Really great with the yellow going into a little bit of orange and into the, that's like candy, candy red. And then the candy red gradiates into a, like a purple, which goes beautifully into this um, gray, which I really like this gunmetal gray that they use. This is the plastic and it's a really nice plastic, really pearlescent, well done. He, then you got a really great silver paint on top of that in a lot of spots. So you really feel the love here. Um, it, it's all throughout. And then, you know, you got the more armor here uh, painted in that red, which gradiates. Eh, it's a little messy back there. It's not like super bad, though. Um, meh. The inside of his arms. I'm not gonna go crazy about that. Um, because you just got a lot of paint. You do. You got more silver paint back here on this back. Like, you didn't really need to do that, and they did. You know, they picked out the spine and stuff, and this top piece. 
So that's that's pretty great. And then you got the white here in the middle and the reactor core. Um, more silver up here, of course. And then silver on the head, as well as white in the eyes. And it just looks so amazing. You know, I, I love when he like jumps into the armor and stuff. It's it's cool in that. Uh, spoiler. Um, but, you know, it looks great. And I feel like it's just one of the nicest looking ones um, that we've gotten. And then, you know, you got some regular gray joints in there and stuff. But it's a, it's a really nice silvery gray. And that, and that is appreciated. Um, it, it's I, I just really like this one. Um, and this was, I felt like, you know, because of the digital tech on these that were, we were getting, you know, like, I felt like this was just like, ah, uh, yeah, and, and this, and this Iron Man, <laughs> which is probably a repaint or something. Um, so I was, like, not looking forward to this, and this ends up being my favorite of the three um, because the paint job is super good. I mean, you even got paint here. That's paint. So really nicely done. Again, no accessories here, so you got to stuck with the, the punching hands here. But that's totally fine. Articulation, hinge ball, bald hinge here at the head for really good motion. Really, really good. And you got really uh, clicky joint here at the abs. Nothing in the waist here. But you got some decent stuff here for an Iron Man. Kind of like Pepper, you really can't go forward too much. These parts hinge upwards, which is nice. Gets you out of your way. Got a big, deep hinge ball at the shoulders, really deep, which is great. Gets you a lot of range of motion there. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbow. Hinge, really good hinge uh, and swivel at the wrist. Deep on the legs as well. That's pretty good for an Iron Man, I would say. But can't really kick forward much at all because of the thigh here. Can kick back a little bit, so that's cool. Got the thigh again. Double jointed knee works perfect. <laughs> it really does. Uh, and then the the rocker is a little bit. Um, hindered in there. The whole foot is hindered, honestly, uh, because of the design. But I'd rather have the paint in there and the effort that they did and the, the way they designed it back here. It's it's fine. I'm not gonna go crazy about that. But yeah, this is a really nice piece, guys. I really really dig it. Um, paint wise, it's it's a definite highlight of the year for me from Marvel Legends. So that's that's pretty cool. All right, so let's do some size comparisons. Here's a, here's Hot Rod, speaking of Hot Rods. <laughs> here is a, a battle damaged cap. It was only around here uh, for, you know, my cap review when I, when I get to that. But the cap and crossbones review, here, here's that crossbones though. So there you go with that. Here is um, Ultraman Atrocitus Belial, Belial Atrocitus from SH Figure Arts. So you get a, a Figure Arts feel here. Oh, something different. Here's Naruto from Toynami. You can see how small those guys are. How about um, Mothex Astro Boy, who's on these things? There is that. And, oh, yeah, let's bring this guy. He's he's here. Oh, he's he's falling apart. But there's Batman. Crouching. Revolt like Batman. Falling apart. I really gotta take some stuff off him. Like like that and throw it on the floor. Um, <laughs> but there you go, guys. That's my review for this set. I, I think it's pretty cool overall. Um, I definitely do dig it. You know, like if you can like hold out for a deal, I think it's kind of like one of those that's going to be in and out of stock a little bit. Uh, we're getting a bunch of those happening at Amazon. So if you could wait a little bit, 
I would suggest waiting a little bit, you know, uh, and getting it for slightly cheaper than normal price. Um, you know, if you haven't already pre-ordered and are waiting for yours. So there you go. That's, uh, that's my review. All right. So please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Let me know your thoughts on these. And until next time, peace out, peeps.